I want to ask you about carnival mm -hmm. because I know you're a carnival man <laughs> and mm. masquerade is important. You make costumes. Just how, build that in for me into the aesthetic of poetry. Well, that's good. That's a good one. Um, I, I like art, mm -hmm. first of all, just, mm -hmm. just creating stuff, just making stuff happen, you know. And I think, hmm, I think when I was 14, that was my first uh, um, foray into the world of mass and so on. But I think it also had to do with community, right? Mm -hmm. that, 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 that there were some guys in the neighborhood, you know, and they say, come on, we got to do something, and you form a group. So that you spent, but carnival was never about going to a whole lot of parties mm -hmm. and, and all inclusives and stuff. First of all, nobody spend that kind of money, right? Carnival was about a bunch of us in some little shack, you know, <laughs> just painting something or printing something. It was all just one solid effort. The only time we would go to some party was Carnival Sunday night at Belmont Intermediate Schoolyard. <laughs> and we wouldn't pay to go in. We jumped the wall. And <laughs> right? So that was part of, of, I think, a kind of creative thing. In New York, I think sticking with costumes and so on was a way of holding on to Trinidad mm -hmm. all the time. You know, um, my good friend uh, Roy Payne, we produced, we had a, a band that won the, the uh, that we played 25 years consecutively in the Juve in Brooklyn mm. with 18 victories. You know. And so you all produced the costumes for that band? Yeah, oh, yeah, you do everything. Amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also we, 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 we managed to get people who understood what it meant to be to create something. Mm. So very often with a band like that, you didn't have to, you just tell so and so, um, we got, we're doing Barbarian. And you didn't have to worry about that person because that person know what, to, uh, when that person show up, okay. it's, it's there, it's so, there, yeah. The, how does that translate to the poems? I'm to so po curious. To poetry. Because I feel like Carnival is um, the idea of masquerade, the idea of, of, um, of, of making, for <laughs> sure, is, is in the poem. So I'm just curious if you think that there's a correlation. Well... Let's go back to Derek Walcott, mm. uh, um, a po poem. I, I think the title of the poem, I think, is, is The Masked Man, I think, I think. But Derek, in this poem, describes himself, the poet, looking on at the carnival. Okay. And he says, um, behind, behind a, a lion's mask, a, a bank clerk growls, you know? <laughs> Which is insulting, <laughs> right? A biker, he's growling in there. But there's a line later on in the poem when he says, what happened, man? You can't jump. Somebody from in the carnival asked Derek, mm. you can't, well, you, you're only looking on and writing, writing mm. and describing. He said, what happened to you? You can't jump. And Derek says, someone must squat down in the dust and write mm. your poems. In other words, I can't do both, right? Mm -hmm. I elect to do to try to do <laughs> both, much to to a lot of pain sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I think so. I think that's part of it. Trying to be in the mass and and to speak of it at mm. the same time, and and it's it's not always easy. It's not always an easy thing. 